The plan today is to provide you with a tutorial that will show you how to bring buttons that have already been created in Flash from the library to edit those buttons and then to save time when you're building your multimedia product how to duplicate those buttons and bring those onto the stage. Your teacher will provide you with a partly built project. Let's have a look at it. What we have is a stage that is 600 pixels high by 700 pixels wide and the colour has been set to black. That's, that's the basic background stage. Also, a menu bar has been built in the first layer, which is locked, and this menu bar, mine's blue, is 100 pixels wide by uh, 600 pixels high. The X and Y coordinates have been placed in the 0, 0 position, which will mean that the bar sits neatly in the top left-hand corner of the stage. This is all locked and can't be messed around with. What we also have is a second layer which we've called buttons and this is where we're going to place uh, the buttons that we bring from uh, Flash onto the stage. So let's do that now. The pre-built buttons in Flash can be found in Window, Common Libraries, Buttons. If you want to do that now and what I'm going to do I'm going to move this particular resource over here so we can have a look at it and the resource I want to use are the buttons that have been created under button bar and they're in a folder here so if we open up this folder you will see that there's a blue one a brown one a gold one a green one and a gray one and these assets are all available to you um, and what I suggest you do now is that you pick the uh, let's say the brown one and bring it over onto the stage oh I'm on the wrong layer that's a good good idea for having it locked bring the brown one over onto the stage and just roughly at this stage locate it on your button bar with the button selected and you can see the blue line around the button and in the properties area of the button, remember what the properties are, these tell you all the features of your particular object you're looking at, you can see that the width of the button is 72 and the height is 22. Now that button's a bit small for my liking so I'm going to use the uh, height adjuster and I'm going to increase that to 40 pixels. 40 pixels that's uh, that's because that that lock is on I don't want that to happen I don't want it to maintain its ratio so I shall set that back to 75 and uh, there we are we've got a better better looking button now and again with the button selected I'm going to use the arrow keys to just roughly position my button where I want it to sit on the stage We don't want our button to say the word enter, we want it to say something like say activity 1. So what we now need to do is we need to go inside of the button and edit that particular text. To do this we need to actually double click on the asset and you'll see that we go inside the button and it's important to look at this, scene 1 bar brown. Okay, And the text will be is actually in sort of layer 3 so if you actually look at the different layers you can see the diff different features of the button now I would actually lock those two layers there to make sure that you don't mess up some of the features that have been built into the button and get into the text layer and with the text tool selected you should you should be able take sometimes takes a bit of while my machine to um, give you that editing feature and I'm going to change that to say activity 1 activity 1 and then click away and we've got that particular feature sorted out